Hi guys, got a request from Ruben Malado to make a solar charger for a mobile phone. Um, it's quite a few on YouTube already, but I'll, I'll have a go. What I'm going to do is use my HTC Tattoo mobile phone, which probably not visible on the camera, but at the moment it's saying it's 100% charged. So I shall leave this switched on today. Uh, this is the one I use for my uh, time-lapse photos. So I'll leave this running doing a time-lapse all day. That will flatten the battery completely. I've got this battery backup, MP3 and mobile. It requires four AAA batteries. got that from either Poundland or 99p store, one of the bargain stores. That requires, say, four AAA batteries. So I've got four rechargeable AAA batteries here, also from Poundland. So I'll fully charge them. Then when this is completely discharged, I will see if it will actually charge it again. So when we've established that part of it works, I will then see if I can rig up some solar panels to charge these AAA batteries whilst they're in the container. So just have some solar panels sitting next to it or stuck to it or probably on the end of a little bit of wire so I can position the solar panel and get the best sunlight um, and see if it'll actually charge them. The only thing that's come to mind is they'll all be in series uh, to provide the output for the USB at the moment and that's not the best way to charge them, four of them in series, because if one of them's uh, gone duff then the charge is all going to be going into the faulty one and the others aren't going to charge properly. So we'll give it a try. Don't know until we've tried. So say to discharge the battery in this phone, I'm going to go and blue tack it to the window of my shed and leave it doing a time lapse sequence using RR time lapse, which is a handy little free app. So I'll leave it doing a time lapse sequence of the garden for no good purpose other than just to flatten the battery. Next step on this solar charger for mobile phones. My local bargain store is doing these garden lights three for two pounds. So I reckon I need at least four, maybe five, to charge the batteries up. So this should be ideal. Not as powerful as it could be, but at least the principle should work. Right guys. I've flattened the battery in this phone, hopefully. Let's turn it on. While we're waiting for that to fire up. Okay, got my fully charged rechargeable batteries. And the plan is just to check whether it actually works before we think about solar charging it or solar converting it. All right. The phone's actually struggling a bit to power up because it's completely flat. Yeah, it can't even power up at the moment. So, connect all this together. It's going to be a bit of a long project, this, just to 
check whether it's actually working so I have to wait so long in between time for charging and discharging. Well, at least it's firing up this time. See the little orange bar indicates the battery's flat. Just put my secret password in. This is the phone I just use for doing time-lapse photography. Right. I don't know if that's visible on this camera. It's actually a zero in the top left corner to indicate that it's got zero charge. It's just gone up to a one. There we go. Can't hold it still enough I'm afraid, but you can see the one in the top left corner there. So it's actually charging. goes to a 2. <laughs> that's 1% charge, that's what that means. The reason I'm doing this is there's not much point going any further trying to make this power pack solar charged if it doesn't charge the phone anyway. So we'll wait for a few seconds. I can always speed up the video. There we go, just gone to a 2. So, that took about a minute or so to go from 1 to 2%. I'll now go and leave this and check it later and see how much it's charged the phone. Right, quick update. Um, battery is charging 29% it says now, uh, it's about half past 8, I think it was 17.45 that we started charging, so that was quarter to 6, so quarter to 6, quarter to 7, quarter to 8, half past 8, so that's about three and a half hours, three and three quarter hours of charge. And we got about, well, 29%, over quarter, about a third of the total power. So not a lot, it's not charging very quickly. But on the other hand, if you were desperate, it would mean that you could use the phone. So that's using this little charger pack with four AAA batteries in it. So the next thing will be to see if we can attach a solar cell to this that will charge these four AAA batteries whilst they're in the box. Right, another update. We got up to about 29% charge. Uh, that's about half past eight. It's now nearly 10 o'clock and the charge has dropped right down to 11%. So clearly the batteries in the little charger unit have given up the ghost and this is now draining power rather than gaining it. So at least we know what we're working with. These rechargeable batteries that I've got in here, or this pack, managed to get it up to about 30% maximum and then after that it started dropping away again. So. We're not going to be looking for a fully charged mobile phone if we're going to use this setup. But I'll carry on, see how we get on. 